Hi everyone, Thumper here. Uh, today I want to talk about the thing that everybody's talking about right now, which is did I get any performance gains out of the multi-threading update that just came out from Eagle Dynamics recently. Um, I am someone that has the privilege of having a pretty, pretty good PC, but it has always been the case where DCS has been more optimized for single threaded performance. So having a Ryzen system such as I do uh, isn't necessarily beneficial. Um, however, I am definitely happy to say that since the multi-threading update, I have seen massive, massive performance gains, like double the FPS. Uh, so I'm going to go through here and I'm going to go through on each of the maps that I have currently installed. And I'm going to do on the single threading, I'm going to just pull up the, I'll, I'll pull up the FPS counter and everybody can see what I'm getting. And then I'll go through and do the same thing on the multi-threading and you can see exactly what I'm getting. It, it has nearly doubled my FPS on almost every single map. Um, in particular, I want to draw attention to Syria because prior to multi-threading, uh, Syria for me was basically unplayable. Like you would think with such like a 3080 Ti, you know, I shouldn't have been having issues, but uh, it was a framey mess like all the time. Anytime I ever touched in on Syria and now I can jump into Syria, fly around comfortably and uh, things just kind of are working now, which is great. Uh, Big W for Eagle Dynamics, and I hope to see more performance gains in the future. Uh, as of right now, uh, the multi-threading update is only for the client computers. So whatever computer you're running DCS to actually play on, it is not available for the... Uh, multi-threading is not available for the dedicated server client yet. So. Um, I made a video a few days ago talking about how there was a liberation campaign we tried to do and I was unable to do it just because of um, some performance issues because it was one of the larger campaigns. Uh, so that's not quite available yet. So I probably still won't be able to run that campaign, but Eagle Dynamics has said that they do plan on bringing multi-threading to the dedicated server client uh in a future update so who knows how long that is but anyway uh now i'm just going to kind of fly around in free flight on instant action and we'll compare um the values of single threading versus multi-threading and i hope you enjoy this is a free flight mission may you used to become familiar with basic aircraft handling or just explore the area there are no threats This is a free flight mission. May you used to become familiar with basic aircraft handling or just explore the area. There are no threats.
This is a free flight mission. May you to become familiar with basic aircraft handling or just explore the area. There are no threats. This is a free flight mission. May you to become familiar with basic aircraft handling or just explore the area. There are no threats. This is a free flight mission. May you to become familiar with basic aircraft handling or just explore the area. There are no threats. Altitude. Altitude. This is a free flight mission. May you to become familiar with basic aircraft handling or just explore the area. There are no threats. Altitude. Altitude.
Okay guys, so here are the settings that I have, just in case anybody's interested. These are the settings I currently have enabled. And after recording, you all will be able to see the numbers, so you'll be able to actually tell for sure. But I can definitely say that uh, the biggest improvement of all of the maps, for sure, for myself, is Syria. Um, even just this update in general, it feels like they might have done something to help optimize Syria because, uh, for real, I can't explain previously, um, when I loaded into Syria, it was just a mess. Uh, single core performance there was working okay. It wasn't nearly as bad as it has been in the past, but the multi-threaded performance is just out of this world. Um, and then uh, the adverse of that, the one that did not feel to me during the test, the one that did not feel like it was getting maybe as big of a boost as some of the other uh, maps would be Marianas. Uh, that was feeling... It, there was a boost, but it was much more minor compared to the others, so... Um, or at least it felt like it, so... Multi-threading has brought with it sometimes uh, at the beginning of any mission that I load into. Every now and then, it will <clears throat> kind of drop a frame or get kind of a little... Uh, a little slow down where it, it looks like it's breaking but uh for since i've been flying on the multi-threaded update it has been studying out after i've been in the jet for you know a couple of minutes and not not even that it's usually you know 30 seconds so uh talking about marianas that one definitely while i was flying on the multi-threading there was a few sputters here and there but uh, I'm sure if I would have kept flying, it would have smoothed itself out. So uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Um, leave a, you know, like or whatever. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Thank you.